there we go fish on guys that's my second fish of the day Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a real bad idea. Why'd I do that? What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have just a little bit of fun and we're gonna make ourselves a homemade do-it-yourself shrimp trap out of this bottle right here and just a couple items. I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to do it because let's be honest, it ain't rocket science and I wanna get this bad boy in the water and see if we can't catch some shrimp to go fishing with tomorrow. Let's go. All right, first things first, we're gonna take the label off the bottle because we already got enough plastic out in our oceans, you know, polluting and whatnot. So don't be that dude that leaves your plastic off because it's gonna come off in the water. So get your plastic cut off, ta-da. Then you're just gonna take a knife, you're gonna make one little slit. Oh, this is, this is not a sharp razor knife. Yeah, not sharp at all obviously probably haven't used this knife since you know back in my floor and laying days you're gonna pop it in here like so and then we're gonna tape it and we're gonna bait it and we're gonna have ourselves a homemade shrimp trap all right y'all so my number one goal with this was to try to make it using as much stuff as possible from just around the house and not have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff and i don't need this thing to last me a long time I'm just trying to catch one shrimp to go out and try to catch one fish. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. So I'm actually going to use some Christmas ribbon, you know, because we just we just got done with Christmas. So that's going to be the best thing to tie this thing up with. Because again, I don't need it to last. I just need to catch shrimp one time, real fast. Ha! Perfect. Now all I got to do is put a little fish string on top of it. We're ready to go. I went and got scissors because you know my knife was so dull or whatnot. So we're going we're going to use scissors starting now. Like I said, guys, this is not rocket science. We're not reinventing the wheel here. You guys have seen this done before. You're just gonna take your bottle top, pop it right down in there like so. Take your piece of duct tape, put it on one side, put it on the other side. It ain't gotta be pretty. It's just gotta catch shrimp. Scared y'all when I was ripping out duct tape at the beginning of the video, didn't I? Could have been Sarah. She could have finally snapped and murdered me or whatnot, cause we all know that's coming someday. There you go, homemade shrimp trap. Y'all check it out, super simple. Now. The trick is, I've read, look, if you look online, there's like 150 different things that people say you gotta use bait to catch shrimp. Where I'm gonna put this is close to a dock light, so I don't think it's gonna be that difficult to catch them. I see them all the time. It's really close to the house, and there's a dock light there. So I know bait and stuff comes in there at night, so I don't think I'm gonna have much trouble. So the first thing I'm gonna use is gonna be just a little hand kitty cat food, like that, because kitty cat food don't dissolve that fast. And then, I'm gonna put a little bit of this cornmeal in there because everybody online, the one common denominator in all shrimp traps was shrimp love cornmeal. So I like cornmeal. I'm gonna throw a little bit of cornmeal on this bottle. I'm gonna take it in and drop it in the water. And then we're gonna go back and check it later on this afternoon. And then in the morning, we're gonna go fishing. All right, after I got to thinking about it, there was one more thing I needed to add. I am gonna grab a couple of like one ounce sinkers off the Mako and drop in there. I didn't read online whether it needed weight or not, but my assumption would be that it does or just float on top of the water. So we're gonna drop a couple one ounce sinkers in there too before we put it in the water. This is our dock where we're gonna drop our shrimp trap at. This is right across the street from my house. Luckily, the owner of this marina is super, super nice guy. Always lets us come over here and do some filming and stuff. So we're gonna set the camera down real quick and drop shrimp trap down in the water. All right, y'all, so we're gonna drop this trap down right here. I got a nice little wire to tie off on. Um, I gotta make sure I get it full of water first because that's gonna be the main thing. All right, so we got her fully submerged in the water. Now we're gonna wait till later on this evening. We're gonna come back and we're gonna check it and we'll get us some shrimp. All right, y'all. So in the spirit of honesty and transparency, I do wanna let you guys know this is the next day. So I came out here last night, right before, not even really last night, yesterday afternoon, it's just getting dark here at like, you know, 4.45 or something crazy like that. I came out here right before dark, checked the trap. There was nothing in it, came back late last night like 11 11 30 um, the dock light was on i saw all kinds of bait there's definitely like you can see the shrimp in here and if you ever want to know how to find shrimp all you have to do is shine a light down they'll typically be down in the sand and you can see their eyes they like glow when you hit them with a light so there was no there was no shrimp in the trap at that time though so we waited till today i didn't come back out anymore i didn't come out early this morning because i wanted it time to kind of die off and once the light so about 10 30 in the morning right now we're gonna pull the trap and we're gonna see if there's any shrimp in it all right babe moment of truth <laughs> like i need 
<laughs> I need this to work this time. We do have Miss Camera Chick Sarah back behind the camera. She was not available to help me yesterday. She was doing some very important like business stuff, which we do have another big announcement coming right after the first of the year. We cannot wait to share with you guys. But that's a whole nother story. So we need there to be shrimp in here because if not, I'm just gonna have to go to the store and buy some. So <laughs> we don't want to drain all our water. So there's Oh, there's, there's shrimp in there. Look, 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 look. Guys, right there, there's shrimp in there. We got our hip and get them in a bait well. There is 100%, guys, look, there's shrimp in there. 100%. Look, you see them? Look, they're, oh, they're lively. They're, they're small, but they're, God. That shrimp's a shrimp. Y'all, look, 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 look. Look. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't believe that worked. Like I legit cannot believe that worked. All right, y'all, so I can't believe that actually worked to be 100% honest with you. But now we're out on the boat with Mr. Brent over there. While I was building my shrimp trap, Brent went out and built himself a pinfish trap. So he's got some live pinfish. I got live shrimp. We're gonna roll out here and see which one of us can catch a fish first on the bait that we caught ourselves. It's about to be on. Brent looks like super confident this morning. Like, I, I don't know, you got a pep in your step this morning, bro. Like, you just silent but deadly. You think you're just gonna wipe the floor? Y'all just saw me get out fished by Sarah. I'm not losing the Petra today. Let's go. All right, y'all, we made it out to our spot. I'm about ready to throw out a live shrimp. Now, this just isn't any normal live shrimp. Like, I almost wanted to name them. These are my pet shrimp, the ones I caught in my homemade shrimp trap. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little in shock myself that it actually worked So we're gonna tie this dude on and we're gonna go down through here and the water is so clear I don't know if you guys can see down there, but we're in like four foot of water It is super super clear and we're gonna see if we can't throw a live shrimp out in front of one of these fish and get them to eat it Let's give it a shot. All right guys. So Brant's up at the front of the boat I'm just kind of drifting this live shrimp behind the boat just to see if anything picks up on it This place has got all kinds of fish. We're not seeing a lot of activity today but our hopes are high because, uh oh, I'm getting a bite right there, right there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. I'm on. Fish on. Fish on, baby. Uh oh, Brant. I might have something I've never caught with you before, buddy. I got a flatty. Look at there. Guys, this is only my second flounder I've ever caught. He not going to be a keeper. He is. He used. He, you know, he probably would have been a keeper last year but this year they changed, the they changed the regulations which is fine we i have no problem with them updating regulations as needed um that just means that these fish are going to survive in our fishery for years to come so i have no problem with that whatsoever but check that right there guys <laughs> on a live shrimp not bad i'm not even going to measure him because i know he's not he's not going to be a keeper size fish but that's only the second flounder i've ever caught and brant for the record, sir, I caught a fish on my live shrimp before you caught a fish on your live pinfish. That is very true. So I think I might have just beat Brand. But our goal is to catch a bigger one than this. So we're going to go back to work here. We're going to get this dude back in the water and see if we can't catch something just a little bit bigger that we can take home. Let's get this guy back. See you, buddy. And he swam off just fine. So now that I know I caught a fish on my live shrimp and got that knocked out, I have switched over to a gulp nuclear chicken on a quarter ounce jig head because there's flounder in here, man. This is flounder candy. So we're gonna toss this around for a little bit and see if we can't hook up on another flatty because I think my, my chances of being successful are gonna be better with a gulp shrimp than it is with a live shrimp for these flounder. And Brant's still up there trying to sight fish him a redfish at the moment, so. There's no doubt he's going to get one. If y'all have ever watched the Brant video, you know good and well he's about to like stick a giant up there or something. There we go. Fish on, guys. That's my second fish of the day. Is that a flatty? That's a flatty. Yeah. That is a flatty. He's not going to be a keeper. Uh, oh, 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 he came off right at the boat. I, yeah, he is right at 12 inches. He would have been he, a keeper last year. He would have been a keeper last year, guys, but not this year. Oh, I'm on again. You serious? Yeah. All 
All right, guys. That is a legal flounder right there. 13, 14. I got a stud. I got a stud. It is legal. We're going to throw him in the live well. And we're going to go up here and film Brant catching his fish. All right, guys. So I've caught three flounder. Obviously, the most flounder I've ever caught in a day. And I only caught one previous ever. Got one in the cooler. We're going to take him home and cook him up. And I got a special sauce I'm going to show you guys for that one. Now, I'm just targeting redfish. So hopefully we can hook up on a big redfish. I don't, if it's a keeper redfish, that's a bonus. If it's a bull red, I'll take that too. I love catching these reds that are out here. So that's what we're going to target for the rest of the day before we take it to the house. All right, guys. So as I said earlier, when I was catching this fish, this is only like my third flounder ever or fourth flounder ever or something like that. So with that being said, I've never cleaned a flounder before. So I have watched a YouTube video or two on how to do it. And I think I know, I, I think I know what's up, but not a hundred percent sure. So I do know there's a vertebrae in here and what you're trying to do is get down that vertebrae, which I have. Um, and then you're just trying to angle it along and get the fish off of that. I think is the goal, which hopefully I'm doing. I've never cleaned one of these before, so I really can't tell. We're just going to, I can feel a rib cage in there. So hopefully this is going to, Oh, okay. Yeah, we're doing good. We are doing good, guys. Just working our knife down the backbone there, just like you do on a normal fish, only from the opposite side. And everybody, like the videos I watched, said that you do it this way to keep from losing a lot of meat. And I can see why they say that. So, all right, guys. And then we're just going to cut the... I definitely butchered a little bit there, but we're just going to take that filet off. Now, that's not bad. That's not a bad job for my very first flounder ever. We're gonna finish cleaning this dude up, throw him on the blackstone, and then we're gonna go in the house and make a sauce to pour over our blackened fish. Let's go. So we're gonna just throw this fish straight on the blackstone right here. We're gonna blacken it, and then we're gonna take it in here and show y'all how we make the sauce to go over this fish. We're gonna cook up a little bit of chicken too, because not everybody likes the fish. It smells delicious. All right, y'all, we're not going to make this too long and drawn out because this is a pretty, pretty simple process. All you do is you add yourself some heavy whipping cream. What we're doing is kind of like an Alfredo, sort of. Um, I like to call it my like creamy Cajun sauce because we put this on all kinds of stuff. Um, whether we're doing chicken, fish, doesn't really matter. We put this on a ton. Getting all your ingredients lined up, baby? Yeah, just to make it easy. And I'll tell you guys, I do not... Um, like measure. I just kind of add the taste and I kind of know what goes in this. I always use two little cartons of the heavy whipping sauce. You don't want to go too heavy on the Cajun if you don't like spice because that right there will put it on you. Also going to add a little bit of paprika. Again, don't go too heavy on that. If you don't like spicy, if you do, you can do that. Going to use just a little bit of basil flakes and then salt and pepper. Y'all, this is the most important part. Listen to me. Butter. A whole stick of butter. I don't care what you read online or what the ingredients. You need a whole stick of butter in there because that's what makes it good. The butter is where it's at. We're going to let that stuff simmer around for a minute. Let the butter melt. And then we're going to add the last ingredient. And then we're basically done. It's one of the easiest sauces you can make, for real. So if you cook with heavy whipping cream, or if you ever have in the past, you already know this. But when heavy whipping cream starts to boil, it will foam. So once it starts to boil... I always turn it down to about half strength on there and just kind of pick it up off the burner for a second, let it settle down. This is where you want it before you add the last ingredient, which is grated Parmesan cheese. Now I know some people like to use fresh grated Parmesan and maybe that makes it better. I don't know. All I do is just take it, put it in here and we're ready to rock and roll. These fish were pretty thin, or the fillets were pretty thin, so it's not going to take very long to cook fish at all. It's definitely going to take longer to cook the chicken than it will the fish, because we are already on our first flip on these. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Man, that blackening season, it really hit me right there. I'm pretty excited for flounder. I've had flounder one other time um, when Brant and I did a catch and cook, but obviously this is the first time we've ever done it on our channel and we've never even had one big enough to keep up until this point so i'm pretty excited to try this out we'll pull it off here in just a second all right y'all so the fish is done we're ready to pull it off for sure so 
Oh, I'm excited, baby. All right, we got our flounder on here. We are going to let Miss Sarah try this first. So what I'm going to do is just take the flounder. We're, we got noodles and stuff made too, but I wanted to try just the sauce and the flounder first. There you go. I'm already excited. All right, girlfriend, let's see what you think. I'm super excited. Y'all, I've been like up editing and going through the office all day, so I didn't even do my hair and makeup. What do you think about this get up? Whatever. You look beautiful all the time. Oh my gosh. So the sauce is on point, and which is a good thing because like with flounder, from what I've had in the past, doesn't have a big flavor. So this actually is good. No, I mean you definitely it's sauced up for you. I think I went a little overboard on the sauce right mm -hmm. there. You can never go overboard on that Cajun sauce actually. But the fish itself is super yummy with it. So I give it a what like ten out of ten? Whatever. You gotta leave a little wiggle room. There you go, guys. Flounder and special sauce was Sarah approved. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a blast making it. I was honestly a little shocked that the shrimp trap worked. I'm not gonna lie to you. I saw a bunch of people do them on YouTube before, and I knew there was shrimp over here by this dock just because I would saw them over there. We go over there and spend a lot of time there in the evening. It's one of our favorite places to watch the sunset. But I was still a little surprised that it worked. I mean, it was just... Uh, it was a pleasant surprise. Let's let's leave it at that because I was not expecting to have shrimp in that bottle when I pulled it up there yesterday, but took a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I ain't mad about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. And if you're new here to the Cameraman Ron channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button 2021 style. We can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Y'all take care and we'll see you soon. <laughs>